Yep. <laughs> Taxi. Yep. Taxi. Taxi cab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where to, friend? Going to uh, Hotel Astor, room 518. <laughs> they stopped me on the fourth floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. That's quite a city you got out there, what you call your New York. Yeah, that's what we call it. Yeah. 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 I bet you there are eight million stories out there. That's probably the crossroad of a million private lives. Broken heart for every light bulb of the great white way. And look at them buildings. Them buildings are like, uh, they're like stainless steel fingertips. Stretching their way toward the northeast skyline in a never-ending panorama of grace and majesty. What are you, some kind of poet? I used to write for the Newman Club newsletter. <laughs> Newman Club, is that a B'nai B'rith organization? <laughs> you're, uh, you're Jewish, huh? Working with my head on, figure it out. <laughs> we, uh, we had a Jewish guy who used to work for us up in the home office. Seemed like a nice guy. <laughs> I was just back there at that place where you picked me up. They call that the Hot Spot Club. That's where all the girls are. They're all in there. I walked in the door, there must have been 10 or 12 of them all over me. Blondes, brunettes, redheads, they were all over me. I didn't go up to them, they come right up to me, you know what I mean? This one girl was really all over me. This blonde girl, good looking blonde, blonde, good looking blonde girl. Blonde girl. Huh? Good looking? You know her? <laughs> she sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was all over the old troopy here. Yeah? I guess there's a little life left in the old trooper yet, huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're having fun here. See, we're here in a convention. Everyone's here from the home office. The whole gang's here. Hail, hail again. They're all here. I'll tell you who's here. Davy Cronin's here. Tommy Johnson. Eddie Nolan. Patrick uh, O'Brien's here. Uh, Jimmy Noonan. Uh, Fred Hogan. Bill Hogan. Ed Hogan. The Hogan brothers are here. Let's see. Who else? David? I don't know any of these guys, you uh, know. They're all here. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you know who you'd like? You know who? Dave Cronin. Dave Cronin is one of the hottest tickets, bar none, that, bar none, that I know. D he's not with me now, but Dave's a hot ticket. He is a hot ticket, boy. You're yeah. alone back there, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just checking, you know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, Dave's back there where you picked me up at the hot spot. They were all over Dave when I left him there. Dave's a ladies' man. He's what we call your ladies' man. Mm -hmm. I say, Dave, you're a nut. Get out of here, Dave. I say that to him a lot. Get out of here. I don't mean that. You know, I just say that to him. Get out of here, Dave. Dave's a hot... You know what Dave did? You've got a minute. Listen to this. Dave brings this... He brings this tie with him to the convention. It shines in the dark. Yeah, that's funny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that's funny. Huh? That's funny. Huh? Huh? That's funny. All right, all right. That's only half of it. Now, listen... On one side, on one side of the tie, it says, win with Wilkie, see? Mm. You turn it over on the other side, it says, screw you, buddy. What a hot <laughs> job. Jeez, we had him up there last night in the hotel room for three hours in the dark looking at that tie. What a night that was. What a night that was. Hey, this guy sounds like a hot ticket. Oh, man. <laughs> You kidding me? You're gonna start telling me how funny Dave Cronin is? Don't oh, start telling me about Dave Cronin. For God's sakes, Dave and I go back for years. You're gonna start telling me about Dave? Don't start telling me about Dave, my friend. Don't ever start with me about Dave Cronin. I'm sorry I brought it up. All right. <laughs> you to tell me about Dave. Well, forget I mentioned All right. it. Man. Oh, I know. You wonder why he drinks so much. Everyone does. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Sure, Dave Cronin puts the booze away. Sure he does. So what? Listen, you'd drink too if you had Dave's cross to bear. 
He's got a son that's an albino. I said, Dave, I said, remember this. I said, Dave, it could be a blessing in disguise. I said, don't take it too hard, Dave. The good Lord moves in mysterious ways. But I said, remember, Dave. I said, remember, you can never be too white. I said that to Dave. Of course, now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not prejudicial and up against nobody. I don't care what a man is. What I'm saying, you know what, you know what I hate? I got a good idea. Huh? No. <laughs> Listen, this country is made up of individuals. I don't, but I'll tell you what I hate. I hate these people to make derogatory remarks about someone's ancestry. You've heard it. Yeah, you've, 2000 years, you've heard yeah. it, sure. <laughs> I'm talking about these people. These guys say they make remarks like they say, he's a dago, he's a harp, he's a heeb. I hate that. You know who says that the most? Who's that? Your hunkies. <laughs> We're having fun here. We're having fun here. A lot of the guys brought their wives. Mm. I was going to bring my wife, but we've been separated 12 years. <laughs> good idea not to bring her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? She was a saint. She was too good for me. I was a bum. She's a saint. She's a saint. Here, I got a picture of her right here. That's a saint. That's a saint. Yeah, yeah. yeah I never saw one before. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. You're Jewish. You don't have saints. That's a saint. <laughs> We got profits. <laughs> There's a picture of my wife over there. Huh? That's my wife over there. Oh, she drives too, huh? <laughs> Next to my picture's her oh, picture. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Well, you know, they, they say you live together for a while, you start to look alike. <laughs> Well, you know, she's got the dress on. Yeah, you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, she wants her picture there. You know, she gets jealous. She, oh, the women get in the cab. She yeah, thinks, women huh? get in the cab. Huh? She, women huh? get the women. Huh? What's the her? Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> they don't start telling me about women, for God's sakes. I know all about women. I've been there and back, my friend, and back, and back. I got a kid who's probably your age. 35, right? <laughs> Oh, no, you got a young neck. No, he's, <laughs> he's quite a kid. He's a good-looking kid. He's a good-looking kid. They're all over him. Huh? 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 <laughs> good-looking all yeah, over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And smart, smart. Sounds he's like got the smart. brains in the family. He's got the brains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to college up near Boston. The Jesuits have got him.